we are still in John Lecture 15. This is the third edition of John 15. We have gotten through one resurrection appearance, the one to Mary, who did not believe until she saw Jesus. But now Jesus is going to appear to the disciples, but it is now evening on that day, the first day of the week. So they're still on the third day, but from the morning to the evening, um, no record of what happened in this gospel. They return to their home. The disciples aren't quite sure. They probably heard from Mary that he is resurrected. But what does that mean? <laughs> that he is to ascend to the Father with all the teachings. But then suddenly, Jesus stands in their midst. The doors are shuttered. They're afraid of the Jews. Right? The fear of the Jews. But if we go back to John chapter 7, right, we know in John chapter 7, verse 13, that a lot of people were afraid of the Jews. The crowd, there was much grumbling. He is a good man. Others saying, no, 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 he leads the people astray. But no one was speaking openly of him for fear of the Jews. So what fear do these disciples actually have are they afraid to proclaim anything about jesus or something different okay interesting but jesus remedy to their fear is a word of peace peace be with you peace be with you he says so in verse 19 and again in 21 he shows him there his hands inside because in john 19 his side was pierced as well and the disciples took joy when they saw the lord but he says peace and i am going to send you out and gives them the holy spirit holy spirit right as the father sent me i also send you well, in the Gospel of John, the question is, do, some, do people believe that the Father sent the Son? And so now they are faced with a conversation with themselves of whether they believe that the Father sent the Son. And so if you forgive the sins of any, their sins have been forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they have been retained because you receive the Holy Spirit. They're given power to forgive the sins of others. A lot of teaching on that one could get a little complex. Basic idea is we have the power to forgive sins, not on behalf of God, but perhaps on behalf of ourselves. We also have the power to retain sins when people are unrepentant. It's an interesting, interesting concept. But then they notice Thomas was not there. Right? And the disciples are telling him that they have seen the Lord. And he then says, based on what just happened, unless I see his hand and his the place in his side, I will not be believing, taking trust in him, because they saw his hands and sight. They did not believe until they saw, but they saw. And he says, I won't believe until I've seen, because this is crazy. Well, the disciples did not believe until they heard. They did not believe the word of Mary. Mary did not believe the words of the angels until she heard was called by name and so then we have the third appearance to thomas a recognition scene a lot of discussion about that after eight days right so it's in a week later the disciples are inside thomas is there and the doors are still shut why are the doors shut that's a good question why are the doors shut 
in the previous episode, they were shut because hmm, fear of the Jews. So even though they've seen Jesus, are they still fearful? That's what the story would imply. And Jesus comes and says, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Did Jesus say this before? Well, he actually did, right? Peace be with you. How many times did he say it before? He said it twice. Is he saying peace be with you to Thomas alone in verse 26? Well, some could interpret that if they never looked at the Greek, <laughs> but um, that's not what the Greek says. The Greek is a greeting to all those who are behind the closed doors. Hmm. Sounds like the same story is happening again, but Thomas is there. The other disciples haven't made a lot of progress in believing. But now, upon seeing... Thomas believes. We don't know if he touched as Jesus implored him to do. Be certain that I am this one that you are seeking. But Thomas answers with my Lord and my God, which is the highest of the Christological titles. We go right back to chapter one, which also has three recognition scenes. And we have Andrew telling his brother, we have found the Messiah. We have Philip telling Nathaniel, we found the one about whom Moses wrote. And we have Nathaniel saying, you are the son of God, the king of Israel. But now, Thomas says, my Lord and my God, which is essentially naming the name of Yahweh. Yahweh Elohim. Adonai Elohim. And then this statement that gets a little confusing. Have you believed because you have seen me? And we can go way back to a lot of things about what belief is based on. One of those places would be John 4. You remember the story? The woman went into town told these people this uh, there's a guy out there i don't think he's the messiah but he could be the messiah so they all went out to see him and they invited him into town and then what did they say after they had been around right they said we have believed because of the words that you are saying and then later on there's the man from Capernaum who comes up and Jesus says unless you people see signs and wonders you simply will not believe it seems like there are a lot of people who want to see signs and wonders he says signs and wonders aren't necessary others are more blessed because they believe and then we can always go back to earlier in the passage where they did not see Jesus but the other disciple saw and believed he saw a empty tomb and believed so even the beloved disciple did not believe without seeing Mary did not believe without seeing. The first, the other disciples gathered in the room did not believe without seeing. And Jesus says, have you believed simply because you have seen me? Blessed are those who did not see and yet believed. Who else might have done that? Right? Who else? might have believed without seeing Nicodemus perhaps other people have heard as people talked about Jesus 
So a very, very important section. Then we reach very quickly the purpose of this gospel. Jesus did many other signs that are not written in this book, but these have been written. So you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and believing may have life in his name. So we have the discussion of signs, we have the discussion of believing, we have the discussion of eternal life, and we have the idea of Jesus as the Christ, the Son of God, coming through all those things. Many signs are talked about. Only some are actually described. So, we now have chapter 21. I didn't think I was going to get through in three different episodes, because there's a lot to this particular passage. So, we're going to call a halt to this video, and we'll come back for episode four very quickly. Bye now.